Discovery Education, which used to be called United Streaming, is at discoveryeducation.com. All you need to do is click in your search and find video clips and pictures based on your search criteria. You can then preview all of the movies and pictures. You can even scroll through a movie to see what it's about. And click on it to see the entire movie and all of its clips. To add the entire movie, you can either download it directly to your laptop or check the box and click Add to My Content, Quizzes, Assignments, or whatever. So I'm just going to click Add. Then if I go into My Content, I'll take a look uh, for things like Social Studies, which I've set up as a subfolder. And there you can see my saved videos from Social Studies. If I only wanted a clip of this movie, because maybe I don't have enough time for the whole movie, I can scroll down and check the box next to the clips that I want. So for instance, an introduction, maybe the first Thanksgiving with the Pilgrims. Um, I don't really need a parade. And I'll just add that to my content. And again, I'm just going to put that under Social Studies so I have a better organization. And you can add as many of these subfolders as you want. To view it, all I have to do is click on it in my content and click the play button. As long as I have QuickTime as my streaming for Macs and QuickTime for my download for Macs, you can also share it to other websites such as Twitter or Facebook. Um, but as long as I have those two checked, when I go to hit play, it'll come up in a QuickTime player and then I can either watch it right there, create a full screen for my students, project it if I want to, um, I can even file and save this so that if I previewed it at home, I can save it, call it something else, save it to my desktop. That way, even if I don't have internet at school the next day, I could still play this video. Discovery Education is more than just a video library resource. It also has um, great things for teachers, such as lesson builders, quiz builders, or writing prompt builders. Um, there's technical support and webinars that you can attend to better your teaching. Um, things that are linked to TV programs, even different curriculum areas. You can even go through uh, different professional development steps, whether you're a beginner, an advanced, or, or even an expert user. There's something for everybody at discoveryeducation.com. The Teacher Center is full of wonderful things for educators. So if you don't have your login, just go to discoveryeducation.com, click on the passcode, and in your computer lab at your school, find out what the school passcode is or email your tech integrator. For more tech tips, just visit Mr. Lawson's website and click on Teachers Tech Tip.